the main reason I try to be philanthropic is uh, I, I know I'm a lucky person. Uh, get reminders of that just about every day. I'm uh, one of the very fortunate ones. And uh, uh, I know that there are a lot of people out there who, who need help. And, and there are a lot of people who are trying to help people in a lot of different ways. And uh, I think they deserve support. And that's what I try to do. And I try to make sure to give to the right causes as much as possible, but that's a continuous learning process. Part of my luck is uh, choosing the right parents. Uh, I, uh, I think one of the things, they always try to, to teach us to do the right thing as, as much as possible. And uh, I think they showed me examples of, of doing the right thing and of trying to help people. And so if I can continue that, that's, that's a good thing. I know that there are a lot of causes out there, in fact, you know, getting phone calls and emails and, and solicitations from a lot of them. There are certainly a, a number of favorites that I have, you know, and, and they tend to be uh, local causes, things that I'm more directly familiar with and where you can see some of the results uh, sometimes personally uh, right away. Uh, but I'm also always on the lookout you know, asking people what, what they think are some of the good ones and, and looking for suggestions. I know there's one thing we don't have to worry about is running out of, of causes, running out of people who need help and, and uh, charities that are trying to help people, uh, where you have people working day in, day out to educate people, to feed people. Uh, to help people in, in uh, need, whether it's a catastrophe or everyday life. Um, so if I can help some of those people help other people, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, well, one of the things that led me to the Donor Advised Fund was uh, obviously the tax advantage. Uh, you can really uh, multiply your giving to a certain extent. Um, but the fact that there are a number of people who are ready to help you uh, uh, and you know, learn a few things about the charities uh, and also simplifying the paperwork at the end of the year, that's, that's a help too. We don't talk to our kids directly about it, um, but again, they, our kids uh, see us sort of wrestling with this, trying to decide which uh, events to go to, which uh, charities to donate to, and which causes are important. And just talking about the news, sometimes uh, these, you know, the, these questions come up. Our financial advisor at Fidelity has been very helpful uh, understanding the whole range of, of, of financial issues, saving, investing, thinking about our kids' future, thinking about philanthropy. Uh, she's just been incredibly helpful uh, to us in making sure that we've got all the bases covered and that we're um, thinking about all these issues holistically. Really appreciate that. Especially as I get older, uh, giving back becomes more and more important. Uh, and just looking at the news every day, there are lots of examples of uh, people who need help and, and that if you have a bigger impact on the world, uh, that's a good thing, especially a, a big positive impact. Uh, I think that's an important thing to shoot for, uh, a bigger goal than just uh, how I'm doing financially.